We are 10 days away from a total solar eclipse. And if you are on the hunt for eclipse viewing glasses, you have to make sure that what you're buying is safe. Consumer investigative reporter Leslie Gatiss shares what experts want consumers to know. Ahead of the April 8th solar eclipse, ophthalmologist Dr. Kyle McLean says make sure you're looking with the proper eye protection. What we really worry about is a condition called solar retinopathy, and that's when you've looked directly at the sun and received damage to the back part of your eye or the retina. Dr. McLean says the damage from solar retinopathy, also known as eclipse retinopathy, can be permanent. Typically this will cause a decrease in vision. It can improve slowly, but it may take three to six months, and sometimes it may not fully improve and you may have a permanent or long-term loss of, of sharpness in your vision. Sunglasses do not offer enough protection. Consumers should look for eclipse glasses or viewers made for direct observation of the sun. Products that have met this international standard, or ISO 12312-2, Astronomer Rick Feinberg says simply looking for a product with an ISO logo or compliance label isn't enough. Anybody can print on Eclipse glasses that their product meets that standard. How do you know that it really does? The only way to know for sure is that it's gotten tested. Feinberg is a volunteer with the American Astronomical Society's Solar Eclipse Task Force. It maintains this list of suppliers and distributors of solar viewing glasses and equipment. Feinberg says he asks for test results from a properly accredited lab before adding a manufacturer or distributor to the list. Feinberg says if a supplier isn't on the list, it doesn't mean a product is in sale. With so many sellers, he says it would be impossible to vet them all. Our advice to people is don't just randomly search for Eclipse glasses of any type or solar viewers of any type online and buy from the first thing that pops up or the cheapest thing that pops up. For children, Dr. McLean says just make sure any solar eclipse viewing glasses are a good fit. You want to make sure that their eyes are completely covered by the filters. There's not going to be sun that's leaking in from the edge or from the middle of the glasses. You'll have to head north for the best viewing in New England. The path of totality, the track across land where the sun will be completely covered by the moon, will stretch from Burlington, Vermont, all the way to Presque Isle, Maine. It's just amazing. There's no more beautiful celestial sight that you can experience. If you have eclipse glasses from a past event, you need to look them over to make sure the filters aren't torn, scratched, or punctured. And if the filters are coming loose from their cardboard or plastic frames, don't use them. Experts also say you should not look at the sun through a camera lens without a solar filter. Leslie Gatiss, NBC10 Boston.